Hello guys and welcome back to the How To Animate YouTube channel. And in today's video we're going to be continuing on with this cutscene. I've done quite a bit of work off camera so I'd like to just quickly show you guys what I've been up to. So we've now got this guy coming forward. I've changed this part here so he lands on two feet now and does the jump. So I think that works a lot better. And I've done a first attack that comes in and it's blocked by this guy and ricochets off the shield and he's ready now for his second attack. So the plan here is uh, this guy here, this orc is going to swing with this sword. This guy's going to do another block with a shield and then be in a great position to do a, a shield barge. So he's going to step back as far as he can, barge this guy back off screen left and then they're going to have a moment staring each other down and circling each other before we get into the last part of the fight. So guys, I hope you found this uh, series interesting so far. Um, I got a question from one of my subscribers asking, you know, how do I animate so fast? Well, it really just comes down to practice. I wouldn't suggest trying to animate fast if you're just a beginner. Just take your time, enjoy it, you know. But the, the truth of the matter is when you enter the industry, you're going to have to come up with methods to animate quicker you know especially in games you're going to be expected to produce quite a bit of animation or high quality pretty fast you know that's just the way of it if, if you're a, a slow animator then you might get a couple of contracts here or there but the likelihood is they won't keep you on um, it's just the nature of the business you know it's it's usually a very fast turnaround games it's a good idea to develop practices that will make you speed up. Uh, one of the ways I do that is I'm very rough at first. I'm uh, quick in my initial posing, okay? I, I'm still trying to build strong, good poses, but I'm not being pressured, so this is what I call first pass. This this quality of animation here is first pass, okay? I haven't touched the graph editor really yet. A couple of curves here and there, but the graph editor usually happens at second and final pass, which I'll take you guys through that. Um, you know how to polish your animations up to final that's when you slow down and you really start to look at the mechanics you know and make sure there's no mistakes but for this stage you know this is the way I work first pass is just quick it's dirty it's just getting your initial poses in your initial timings and just being as creative as you possibly can you know it's it's just it's like sketching and drawing okay this is the sketch period it's just quick and creative so let's get animating um, so I've, I've actually done a bit more work off camera here uh, I've decided to change this camera here so you'll see now it's a more dramatic angle from this this frame onwards comes down bashes and I've added a back step for this guy here so let's get to it what I'm going to do is start posing this guy's attack. Okay, I've already got a nice anticipation pose here. So I'm going to start by bringing his hips around. I'm just going to make sure that my last key is properly keyed. And here we go. So let's start by rotating his body around. Okay. And Slightly followed by the upper body here. Okay, start bringing the arm around. I'm going to bring this arm up and back for balance. Okay, and this is a pretty desperate attack because it's going to be really easy for this guy here just to block this. So, stupid move on this guy's part because he's about to get a shield to the face. But, you know, if you try and uh, sneak attack someone and mess it up, you're going to pay the price, unfortunately. So, I really need to get this guy back a bit more to allow for space. So, I'm just going to quickly set a key on everything here. And, okay, so I need to get this guy back. So, I'm just going to grab these two IKs here, bring them back, this foot is now going through the shield, just going to move that back for now, it's off camera actually so not too worried about that, yeah this is all a bit tight at the moment so 
Okay, let's see if we've got enough room here. Let's get this. Yeah, that's better. So it's going to hit there. Okay, so I want this guy to raise his shield up a bit at this point. You can see that attack, it's an easy block. Okay, I want this arm to swing through and basically keep going. Okay, if possible. It might have to ricochet off, I'm not sure. It depends on the space, but either way, the plan is to do a shield barge. It's not too bad, it looks a bit weak at the moment because uh, not getting enough of the body involved. So I need to actually turn okay, I'm up. This one. Um, turn the body into this a bit more. Okay, so something like that. Okay, and I'm just going to again shift this guy back even more. There we go. Okay, it's starting to look okay. So it's going to be a pretty weak attack, this one. It's not going to have the force of this one, you see. it's This one here is like crack, you know, it already sort of comes down hard um, and, you know, the shield just kind of absorbs all that this one's going to be like ching, it's going to just straight off not do any damage to anything, you know, it's just a, a wild desperate attack, okay, that needs another in between at some point, but as a key pose, yep, do for now okay, so let's get this guy all the way around okay, get this foot up, I'm going to get him kind of off balance, you know, he's really messed this up at this point. Okay, so I'm going to do a slight shield react, nowhere near as hard as the, the first one. So let's, let's do that now, so let's do a, a little reaction to that. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to move this back one, and then... Okay, so at this point, I just want a slight absorption of that. So I'm just going to bring bring him back and okay and then just grab the shield arm just translate back and just add a different kind of change of shape just to give the indication that it has just grazed the shield. Just need to bring it over. Let's see if that's enough to sell that. Ching. Okay so we're in quite a good position here. Let's get on this back foot and you can already see this is getting to be a strong pose which is going to be used for this this uh, shield barge that's coming up so let's bring that around okay ching okay we're going to put a bit more into this here so i'm just going to rotate it up as if it's here sort of keying every frame at that point ching Okay, and oh, off with his head. There we go. I'm just going to follow through at this point in a single frame. It's going to go two or three along. Okay, we need to get this guy into his anticipation pose properly. He's already started to come down, which is good. This is almost there. But to get this kind of power, we're going to just bring the weight back even further. So get him back on his back foot here. Getting a bit lower. We'll get everything we can into this front arm. Something like that. Should work. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's do the next pose now. I'm just going to leave this guy here. Basically, this guy's just going to maintain this kind of pose. He's just going to follow through. It's going to take a step. But I just want to quickly do this pose so I know I've got the distances right. So, I'm just going to. Have him kick off this back foot here. Again, check where the weight is. And see so if I can get the shield out as far as I can. Okay, it might actually be best to have it like a whip. Um, not so much a barge, but bring this arm around. He can kind of swing it, swing all this weight through. And that's really going to hurt the other guy. Crack. 
straight to the face. Okay, so that's that's complete this this orcs, the little orcs um, attack. So he's just swung through. So we're gonna do have his hips continue round. It's gonna bring this arm around as well. So this guy's in a really bad position here. Let's just see if that's enough. Yeah, it should be enough. Okay, so I've seen the main problem now is this foot. Um, so it kicks off and it's going to continue probably around here, just sort of catch the weight. Okay, so now I've got this little walk attacking around. We've now got the deflection in and the anticipation for the shield barge or shield attack. And it's time to start having this guy being whacked in the face. So it's going to be very quick. It's going to be over a frame. So it's going to be quite a big change of shape for this guy. So again, we're talking reverse C's. So the C is this way. It's going to get hit. And we're going to start just straightening him up at this point. Something like that against the shield. Okay, so I think that'll do for the impact. Okay, let's do the reverse C. See how quick that is now? Bop. That's the actual impact point. So now we need to have him fly back. That's the reaction. Okay, I'm going to try and get in a bit tangled up with his spine here. So if you do get like this, then it's best just to zero everything out. And start again. Nice uh, reverse C-shaped pose here as he gets knocked back through the air. I don't want him to fly up in the air too much. So something like that. Let's see how that looks. So just set a key. Let's have a look how it looks in camera. So swings through. Bang. Okay, that'll work. So let's have this guy on the same key, just swing around and just complete this follow through here, shoulder up. Okay, the sax arm is getting a bit lost, so let's just move it in to view a bit more, maybe bring it up. Uh, I was thinking it might be nice to do a, a camera reversal here again and have uh, the smaller orc. Um, be hit away and then kind of do a roll and then maybe at this point this guy is in a good position to have a have a crack have a, have a go at trying to hit him while he's rolling on the floor I think that could look quite good not in my initial thumbnails but I think it would work quite well so okay so for this as well I'm looking for a nice line of action going up this way so this kind of C shape here so guys that brings us to the end of this video I hope you found it interesting if you've got any suggestions for how this scene should pan out then I'll be all ears so you know just leave it down in the comments what what you, would you like to see happen um, we can make it like a group thing um, so far you know it's going okay quite happy with it uh, the idea now is you know, I've slightly changed the idea from my original thumbnails but I quite like the idea of this guy being knocked back and then rolling and then the big uh, orc here is going to come through and attack with his axe, attempt to hit him and then they're both going to sort of recover and sort of do a stare down and then we're going to go into the last part where one of them is going to get killed so you know who do you want to win this fight? <laughs> It'll be interesting to hear so yeah just leave it down in the comments guys and I'll, I'll speak to you guys soon thanks for watching.